coming from like a family that didn't plan having children, didn't like discuss how they were going to raise these children, didn't like didn't like plan for a future. Like you know what I mean? I I, I just want to be able to to like raise the bar way higher than they fucking said it because it's really a low bar. I mean, it's really a low bar in terms of like family structure, relationships with with people or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? And I just want to do better. You process a lot of your emotions. I think there's just one le one thing left to process. What? Where does Dan fit into all of this? God. <laughs> <laughs> has he met them? Dan has met my mom. He hasn't met my dad. I think that's next, huh? I want Dan to get the best version of me. Okay. And if that comes with, like, healing any of this, like, you know what I mean, in hopes that, like, I'm not like holding myself back mm -hmm. in any way. Like that, that that's where I think he fits in. Like, yeah, no pun intended. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he got up my head. And making all bread. That's the thing. Yeah. Doing that. yeah. I have to wash my hands before. I, I, I just wash my hands. Oh, let's not say there's water hanging here. Yeah. That's what you said. You better oh. chill. All right. All right. Is it warm? There's no smoke coming out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's good, right? That should be enough, right? Ready. That's more than enough, my dear. We're gonna start eating really soon. Yeah, I definitely think that people have to heal in order to become the best the part be of their yeah, yeah, yeah. But I also think that what you fall in love with is the core of a human being. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. this is your core. Yeah. This is your humanity. So I don't think you should hide it from him. Okay. I think that you need to share it with him. That's you wanna get why. married someday? <laughs> Maybe you wanna break the news someday? Are you getting married, bitch? <laughs> You're lying. Did You're I, not going to steal I, my uh, night. You're going you to announce your engagement on the night I'm announcing my engagement? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I would have loved it. Oh my uh, God. No. But that's terrible. That's, that's I'm like, oh, I've been waiting for it too, but you yeah. know, like I, <laughs> I've learned to be disappointed. It would be more special than that. I'm sorry. Like, no, I'm serious. This, that's why I thought he was coming home. Back. So I was telling my mom, well, maybe they're making an announcement because he wants their family there. So I was just. No, there's no <laughs> announcement. God. So you and Andre are getting engaged? Who's Andre? <laughs> Andre's her boyfriend, her plus one. <laughs> you have pictures? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> We've got time. <laughs> yep, plenty of time. Mom, why you did that? Where's your phone? You had your phone a second ago. Why <laughs> are you guys open marriage? I love you, Dan. Like, you Let's just fit right in. I tell them what you told me. How many? No, no. I mean, it's already, out, it's already out there, you know? You're getting married for papers. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are you not? Are you in love? Of course, I've been with for four years. But four I years. Think my last but name. Four years doesn't mean there's love. But well, you don't have to change your last name. But yes, you, you don't. Do. That that, that, you used to, that, that was that was the yes, that was the old days. That was the old days. No, now you can keep your name. <laughs> so earlier you said that you felt that your mom's animosity towards your father had impacted the type of relationship you had with him. Mm -hmm. So growing up, do you have memories of her saying things about him? Yes. She would always say he was like good for nothing or or like, you know, can't be counted on or whatever. Do you remember your emotional reaction back then when you were a child? I just, 
I I agreed because like he was never around, he was never present. So obviously, like if she keeps saying you don't, you're you're never around, you don't do anything, and what I'm seeing is you're not being around or doing anything, then I'm thinking that she's right. Like you know what I mean? That what she says is is, is gold. Right. So what you're doing is using these kids as like a rope in a tug of war. So every time you feel like something goes good with him, you have to throw something negative or something to pull the kids back to remind us that he was not around or that he fell short as a dad. You seize that opportunity as like your moment of glory to remind the world. Not at all, not at all. <laughs> it's a moment of misery world. to remind me what I went through by myself with all you guys. And so what I want to do, what I want to do for you. So it just, was, so she gave you the wrong information. Stop. She gave you the quiet, wrong information. Quiet, quiet. Listen, okay. we have, we have Malika, commentary. Why don't you tell them why? What do you tell oh, them? Why do you want me to tell them why? Do you want me to really to tell them why? <laughs> do you really want me to tell them why and put everything out here? Do you really want me to? Was you ever there in the house? No. She used to fall asleep in front of the fucking door waiting for you to come home. What time did you come home? Five o'clock in the morning to go to work at six. Don't fucking play with me. Don't even fucking. Don't even fucking. He not telling. He not telling them why. Why what? Why what? You was never there. Listen. You was not a fucking husband. Listen. But I just want to let you know that it's okay. I'm just saying, like, there's a difference. That it's okay. I'm gonna ask one question. If you feel a certain type of way that I'm not telling why, I'm not telling why. Why don't you say why? Why? Yeah. Why don't you say why? If you think you know why. What is your why? Because I, I, I know my why. What is your why? I think he's being a gentleman. Take I, away. I, I, don't protect I, I me at all because the same way you play me, I play you. Don't, don't, don't. That's it. There's pieces missing. We went through life without you. That's it. There's pieces missing. What did you know about the situation between your mother and father at the start of this process? I knew that they had, they are still legally married. I knew that they had been together for in their marriage for 16 years before separating. I knew that there had been some sort of substance abuse in their relationship. Everyone believes in love in their own way, in their own version. Do they? Yeah. I don't know if your mother believes in love. She believes in love no, I in her own way. She loves that wine. No, I know. Right. Look at that. I, 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 I love wine. Cheers I don't mind. With the bottle, cheers. I'll show you with the bottle. Freddie, do you believe in love? Is that what you really think? I used to, not anymore. You used to, but not anymore. You used to, not anymore. How come no more? Too many ups and downs. So you don't think love lasts forever? Exactly. Yeah, definitely don't. <laughs> so can we go back to Yadda? Hi. What's going on? What about us? <laughs> I gotta go. It ain't lasting forever. I said it. That, no. It, <laughs> not, it, it, it's like I said, nothing is, not, like I told you before, nothing is written in blood. You never know what's going on. Uh, everyone's forever is written differently. That's true. Right. My forever is literally forever. <laughs> so Erica, how's your marriage going do you find it like you're still happily in love after being married for two three years or um a year and a half a year and a half gotcha. <laughs> fyi well we have to separate marriage from business okay business oh, so you work with him <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah mm -hmm. everybody has matrimonial complaints right this one makes noise, this one does this, this one has too, many, going, going. too much criticism, yeah, this yeah. one has that. This, but at the end of the day, we all have to think about, I think you just have to think about what's out there. Right. It can always be worse. Right. I tell myself that all the time. So my, my, I always feel like dance with the devil that you know before dancing with the devil that you don't know. Because at the, at, there's love there. Whether you see eye to eye every day, every right. other day, every other week, I think there's love there. Right. And um, and what about your sibling? What about Erica and Jessica? They adore him. He's the the best dad in the world. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Where's it disconnect? I I I I think it was in the time of the drugs, honestly, because like, so they they had some some years with him in the home prior to my being born. And then when I was born, that's when she got checked into rehab and when they kind of broke up or separated. And so, um, and I, I'm 
discussing things with my older sisters and they, they clearly don't feel the same way that I do. What about you, Erica? How long have, you guys are like two years married now? Going on two. Oh. Are you guys happy? We're all right. Mostly? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been two years, right? Like you got married in Puerto Rico. Going going on two years. Years. I love that you did a cruise, by the way. That was so Thank cool. It was beautiful, it was really beautiful. I'm all about the destination. Like, not. <laughs> otherwise, you have to wait, invite too many people. Like, too many people show up, otherwise. It's still too many people showed up. That's what? Sad. The only thing I hid from her was my wedding dress because I wanted her to see it and be like, <gasps> Did you, were you like, <gasps> See, that's what and I did. Like, I didn't care for it. No, no, no. She was really upset that I didn't take her to see it. And even Jesse knew, like, No, mommy, she wants you to be. Oh, you finished it? Relax, relax. No, no. Yeah. And that's what I want. I, go ahead, you take the lead. No, I just think that as you move forward, one of the things that you might want to think about is when is the appropriate time to put yourself first? In all your relationships, your mom, your dad, then it's almost like I have to mold myself to accommodate this person. Mm -hmm. But you matter, and, and, and where is the selfishness? Because there's a certain level of selfishness in healthy people. Mm -hmm. So it's a mixture of selflessness and selfishness. But as you talk, I only see selflessness. So I see like Freddie's getting lost in all of these dynamics. Yeah, about to say. I bought this for you, not for us. Do you have any idea what it is? No. <laughs> Why don't you open it and tell me what you think about it? Is it a pack of cigarettes? <laughs> it's a pack of cigarettes. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday! <laughs> what is this supposed to do? Isn't that funny? It's supposed to tell us if 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 you are my biological father. Like an episode of Maury. Mm -hmm. Have you seen Maury before? Yeah, the, I used to watch that shit a lot. <laughs> so now you could feel like you've been on Maury. <laughs> I guess you kind of know how it goes. And that you watch them. Mm -hmm. So what I would do, I would like um, swab the inside of your mouth. Like a Q-tip. And doing? also swab the inside of my mouth with like a Q-tip. How much paper is here? And a few years ago, my mom dropped the bomb on me that he may not be my dad. Do you remember your initial reaction emotionally when she told you that? As, as I sat with that longer and longer, it started to, to I don't want to say eat away at me, but it, it started to like make me a bit more curious. Like, what the fuck if he's not my dad? Like, could you imagine that going X amount of years... And it turns out that the person you thought was your dad is not your dad. Like, sure. People do that all the time. No, no, no. And it's, it's scary. Do you, that's an expression. And, and no, no. do you realize that I've seen you more times in these last few months than, <laughs> last few years. than I have in 30 years? No, you're not about that. You think so? Yeah. Because I used to be with you when I was with your mother. All right, so maybe in the last 15 10 years. 15. Uh, at 18, we stopped seeing each other. Right, okay. 12, 12 years. years. <laughs> <laughs> See, we got to do it, right? Uh, right. <laughs> I like to exaggerate sometimes. No, no, it's a figure of speech, I mean. Yeah. So this, this says that... That I'm your father. It's 99.9997%. So, so there's nine, three, there's, there's like a... There's no... Way, zero, zero, three, it percent. never comes to 100%. <laughs> I know, I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing It you. never comes, it always comes 99. The alleged father is not excluded as the biological father of the tested child. Based on the testing results obtained from the analysis of DNA, the probability of paternity is 99.999. Right. Me, me and my dad took a paternity test. Mm -hmm. It turns out he is my dad. He's 99.99997. <laughs> my dad. So, um, and I'm smiling because there's no longer a fucking black hole in my mind of a possibility. So you were happy. I was happy in, in knowing in having the answer. Does that make sense? Like, I, Why were you not happy that, yes, this man is my father? Oh. And maybe I can get there, but like, I'm not proud of him. So do you have a success in love? 
Yeah, my kids. This is the only, the only good thing that I got out of marriage. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing that I loved out of my marriage was my kids. That's yeah. Freddie, how about you? Mine was having those dolls for me. My, my kids. All three of you. And now the man of the hour. Yeah, yeah. What was the question? What was your biggest success in love? It doesn't have to be with me. Don't feel pressure. <laughs> Don't feel no, pressure. with the no, camera. Don't feel Man, don't feel pressure, but I gave you a squeeze. Five of your <laughs> five five you Don't feel pressure. Yeah, 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 it's five on one, excluding <laughs> yeah, the crew. Dan, he is. Now I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. I'm going to push you off. Oh my God, like my nephew. Oh my God, they are so cute. Oh, it's you. Of course it's He's more Dominican. He ain't walking around with us. And my mom, like, I, while I always knew that she had, like, this, and I hate to use the word vindictive, but this, like, this, like, vindictive side to her, like, I'm seeing it more and more and more as I, like, immerse myself deeper and deeper and deeper into this project. Like, you know what I mean? She, her, her, her teeth are starting to show, like, you know, and I hate it (laughs) because, like, Everybody's coming out to be right so far. Like my, my dad has always like maintained this about my mom and you're only proving him right. Like you get what I'm saying? And I would say hope we've not lost. I, I would hope not. <laughs> she she might have her moment soon where she says, You know what, it's time. Yeah. Time to let this go. I hope so. I only want the one thing that I was there was only one thing that I'd regret in my whole life. If your grandmother had let me marry the guy that oh. I was in love with, wow. I would have fucking been happy. But he was, she felt that he was not good for me. And then he was good for me? Please. Well, look that's who that's like the right. biggest mistake ever. That well, maybe, maybe, not. maybe he, the other one would have been good for me. And I probably would have a good life. Do you think that's cook, nice cook, to and say? Well, look what No, you I'm have just as saying. I mean, like, yeah, you want, you say. want everything to be out in the open. I'm just telling you. Calm and down. And he has to stay quiet. He's only oh my God. God. But you know, you know, you know what? You know who looks, who doesn't look like a fool is the asshole who stays quiet while you're sitting here screaming and kicking up smoke. Because you do a good job at making yourself look crazy. Because you're so caught up in your own anger, you cannot see anyone else's point. You know what I mean? This but I see that you're hurt. I see that you're upset. So I'm going to be patient with you. I'm going to tolerate it. I forgive you and thank you for coming. I love you. And I love you and I love anything for you. I love you. But... You cannot no, no, put, you that's cannot it. put me... I, that's no, it. No, he said that's it. That's it. I let forgive eat. you. Thank let's you for eat. coming. No, I love you. Let's that's eat. it. That's you love each other. You love each other. So... After all you uncover, what is your hope for the future of your family? Necessary. It's not necessary. Whenever I hang out with him, he doesn't speak badly about you. He doesn't say anything negative about you. Look, but what, look at you, ready to speak. <laughs> ready to speak. Because he's with me either, so... <laughs> like he, and I'm good yeah. to but, but you know what? Every time we bring him up around you, you can't help but bash him. And I just want... I'm saying that to say, like, let it go. Sure. Visual. I mean, like, you know. it is really about everything leading up yeah. until the present moment. He's um, more recent in your life, right. and you're going back literally to the roots. Right. The home. And I'm glad you brought me to the topic of home, because now Dan and I are in the middle of like building our own home. So I, <laughs> I wanted to invite you guys here. Yeah. And to, I guess, finally bring together the two different homes that I had. <laughs> And Freddie, I've wanted you here because, like, I know you're very instrumental in all this. You know, thank you. And you are the first man that I've ever met, being my dad, right? And like I told you, Dan is hopefully the last man that I ever meet. Well, and so I, I felt like it was um, special that you guys meet each other. Thank you. So I thank you for being here. Likewise. Love you. Bye. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.